Hello, welcome to this new video tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to create a coral-like structure in Cinema 4D R20 using the new volume feature. So, let's go. So, welcome in the new Cinema 4D version. And first, we are going to create a arc spline. We're going to change the orientation and we make it rotate about 45 degrees, like this. Up next, we want to move it to the middle of our scene by using World Transform. And let's place it right here. So, now we want to use a matrix object to create a thing that looks like growing particles. Select your matrix and go to Object and then to Mode, use Object. Then drag your arc spline into the object section and we created some matrix points on our arc. Change the count from 10 to 24 and that looks better. That looks great. The next thing is to make those points grow. For that we're gonna use a plane effector. Let's add them and right now they're moving down but we want to move them upwards. So let's set this to minus 200. And yes, that looks great. So for now we want to animate the strength only to make the points grow. And we go to frame 0, set a keyframe at 0%. Then move your slider all the way to the end, in this case 100 frames. Set it to 100%, keyframe it again and we got our animation. Well, this looks kind of computer generated, so we want to add some randomness in this animation. For that we're going to select our matrix object and we go to effector and we add a random effector. So we want to make some changes on our random effector and we're going to do that by changing our random mode to turbulence. And we set the animation speed to 0% because we don't want it to animate. It will look like this. That feels kind of organic. So for now we want to change the parameters. And I have to say to all of you guys, there is no good way to do this. Just do what feels right, what looks right. Let's change it a bit. This looks better. But for now, we want to focus on the lower part. We want to start everything as close to the arc spline as possible. Like this. So we have to animate the strength of the random effector as well. So 0% at frame 0 and 100% at frame 50. Set the keyframe. It starts on a line and then they move out to different directions. And that's the effect we want. Let's add some more randomness at the end stage. And we want to look at the scale. No, let's move it down a little bit. Like this, that looks better. And as you can see, they start to grow and move in different directions. This creates a better organic feeling to the whole animation. Let's make some adjustments until it feels right. It's up to you, of course. I like it this way. And, well, there you go. That looks great. So our next step is to add a path tracer. So make sure you select your matrix object and go to MoGraph and Tracer. And make sure in TraceLink we see our matrix. And if we press play right now, we see our points create some paths. So let's select our matrix objects and let's switch it off and let's hide the arc as well. And we've got our growing splines. 
So now let's use a volume builder and drag our tracer inside the volume builder. So let's set the voxel size to 5 cm and switch the volume type to fog. Then we create a volume measure and we drag our volume builder inside our volume measure. And let's play to see what we got. Well, that starts to look like a growing coral structure. Great. So let's start adding some less randomness at the beginning of this animation. So let's select a random effector. And go to parameter and make sure the X and Y are a little bit different than before. Yes, they, they spread out. Well, they are too close right now. So let's add a little bit more on the X until it all feels right. It's not enough more on the Y X. It's maybe too extreme, but it starts to look better. We want to use a lot of randomness because that creates this organic feeling to our animation. Let's take a look. This looks great. That's fantastic. To get rid of the flickering geometry, we have to go to our volume builder and click on our tracer object and then set the density to 1. So now we got rid of our flickering geometry. That's way better. Alright, so our next step is to make some enhancements in our coral. Let's add a smooth layer. And this is way too smooth, so Let's set our voxel distance to 1. Let's put down our strength to this point. Maybe 40. This looks very good. Alright, so now we want to use a random field to create a little bit more detail inside this geometry. So go to create field and then to random and drag our random field inside our volume builder select your volume builder go to random field and set it to objects so it will affect the whole object and change the noise type to turbulence or whatever noise you prefer and let's play with the scale until it feels right like this all right, let's put it around here. It's a bit too strong, but we're gonna um, lower it by first setting it to multiply to make it carve. And then we're gonna make it a little bit more smoother by um, adding a reshape layer. And let's change the offset to about, well, let's say 0.3. That looks great. Or maybe 0.2. That starts to look like a real coral structure. And, well, let's see what happens if you press play. Well, there you go. Maybe we can add some, a little bit more resolution to our geometry to make it uh, look a bit more realistic. change our voxel size from 5 centimeters to 3 centimeters. Well, that looks great. I'm very happy with it. If you have any questions about this tutorial, please post it in the comment section or maybe some ideas for other tutorials, please let me know. 
This scene is available on my Patreon page for download, so you can take a look at it. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye.